good morning guys <clears throat> currently 8 54 a.m. and uh, I think it's October 5th if I'm not mistaken hold on yeah October 5th and um, 26 days 26 days guys and you're probably wondering some of you guys some of you new subscribers probably like 26 days for what 26 days till I leave and um, I'm not gonna be. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. Like, I'm probably gonna make one more video after this one, and it it'll be explained in my next video, like what I'm gonna do. In case you guys don't know, I'm gonna be going like to Air Force BMT, and I'm not gonna be able to record. I'm not gonna be able to vlog. I'm not gonna be able to, you know, like do all that stuff for you guys anymore. We're just just for a certain amount of time maybe max eight weeks i say and then i should be back on the grind showing you guys what i was up to telling you guys every single little bit of detail that i can remember as far as this and that and um i'm looking to just bring you guys content you guys have never seen before and uh just show you through my perspective and you know just something new this channel has never seen maybe you guys have never seen but 26 days and uh, I'm just gonna try to live these last 26 days it still hasn't hit me how fast it's going and hopefully like we can make the most of it um, uh, I'm really excited for one upcoming day that I'm definitely gonna vlog it's I'm just gonna tell you the date I'm not gonna tell you what's happening October 15th just keep that in mind October 15th so um, yeah and uh, one of my friends is actually coming over right now if you guys remember my first ever video, Ray Anthony Luna, he's my best friend. Um, he actually moved to Dallas. He was working over there the whole summer, but he's back now. And, um, you know, I just can't wait to hit it with him. And you guys are probably wondering, damn, is that an Alpha Elite shirt? Is that an Alpha Elite shirt? Do so you guys know about that Alpha Elite, guys? Look at that. Hugging the sleeves. Look at that. Boom, boy. But, yeah, so we're going to head to Brownsville. Show him around over there. He's never been to that gym. And um, let's just see what today has ahead of us. Probably going to grab a bite to eat. And uh, I could already hear the Mustang pulling up. So let's go get him. Look at her. Ready, ready? Ooh, is that rocking the Alpha Lead too? Yeah. Damn, we got that Alpha Lead shirt. Sure, we didn't even know we were matching. Well, good morning, bro. Look at those pump chasers, joggers too. God damn. What's up guys? Well look who's back into the picture again. It's my boy Ray and um, I don't know, just tell him what I guess what you could say what you were doing in Dallas and then we'll go on from there. Yeah, well I just uh, went to Dallas for like about three months. You know, uh, working construction, trying to get my money because, you know, money is kind of important. And uh, I'm just waiting because I'm going to leave to the Marines like around January. And I just didn't want to be sitting my ass at home. Yeah, so uh, like you said, he's leaving to the Marines pretty soon, January, if I'm not mistaken. Um, that's probably the time I, I should be done with basic training. And um, I don't know, guys, uh, it's just like we have like a, I guess you could say a, a really bright future ahead of us and hopefully we can make the most of it even though we're gonna go to different branches like I have a feeling we're just gonna always be connected with one another you know it's just it's always been like that and I, honestly in my personal opinion I think that's how it's always gonna be so without further ado we're gonna head to Bronzeville we're gonna show you guys what we're doing at the gym and uh, just take you throughout the day so let's get it What do you think? It's good. Pink lemonade? Oh yeah, it's the best flavor right there. Tell me how you feel after the workout. All right. Ready? Yeah.
what is going on guys i'm back to you with another commentary it's been quite some time since me and ray actually hit a great workout you know just because he's been gone for so long and when he came back it was just instant focus like we we talk we weren't even catching up you know like we're just focusing on the work workout because that's what we love to do but by all means this is not all the workout if you really want to know what we all did it'll be down below well my workout and you will see in a little bit Raid decided to go and hit shoulders as you're seeing right now he's hitting shoulders and i decided to switch it up and do finish my arm day and i decided to hit biceps which you're about to see right here and um yeah like he, he decided to split his own way after we finished triceps and overall it was a really good workout i was really pleased and i was happy to just be back having a spotter with me you know spotters really help you push push your like limits and uh, go above and beyond what you're capable of doing so advantage of spotting you can have someone there to push you when you really need it done with the workout what do you think Ray? it was actually a really good workout great pump all around what do you think about good. the pre-workout now the pre-workout was freaking amazing usually i have like a good pump through my whole workout but i'm not really a morning person and as soon as i got here like i just wanted to like just keep on going keep on going and like Usually I take like 10 seconds rest in between just to keep like, you know, the blood flow. Today it was like five seconds. It just, it just non-stop going. Yeah, like we're literally going back to back to back because I'm, I'm pretty sure it was a pre-workout. Like I literally just felt in the zone. We hardly even talk and that's because we kind of talk uh, quite a bit and we hardly talk between sets. So I think that was a really good plus. But right now, we're about to head to H&M at the mall, check out some clothes, uh, maybe buy a couple of pairs of jeans and stuff like that. But we'll see you guys there. So like, we're kind of lost at this mall. We found H&M, but it's closed. I don't know why they would display it on the internet saying H&M is open. So we come, check it out, and it ain't even open. Like, why, why are you playing with me, dog? Why are you playing with me like that? But now nah, I was really looking forward to getting some clothes. So was this guy, and I uh, guess we're just gonna head home, eat something, and you know, see you guys there. Here at Wing Barn, Ray's first time, let's see if he likes it. And we're gonna meet up with the one and only Robbie Thomas. Rob, oh, this guy. <laughs> already, what's up, bro? Hot, hell yeah, hella hot out here. Bro. I'm always gonna curse so you don't put me in it. I'm gonna put you in it, I'm just gonna beep it out. Yeah, right, Robbie. Flirting with that girl, or what? Free shakes, free shakes, huh? Well, we're just taking off, so see him later. Hopefully, we'll see him later throughout this day. But for right now, later, something. Later. Bye, little boy. What's up, guys? So it's nine, like oh two. And I totally forgot to like pick up my camera and vlog. And uh, I ate a meal and I'm just gonna tell you what I ate. So I ate eight ounces of tilapia and 126 grams of shrimp. And that's pretty much it. Oh, with seven ounces of sweet potato. 
I'm only gonna have one meal after this, and that's when I come back. I'm gonna go do some cardio real quick. I'm gonna go for a two and a half mile run. And you're probably thinking, wow, it's a lot of like running, you know? Well, I have to get in shape for BMT. It's not that I'm not in shape. I am in shape. I'm just trying to get my running time a little better. So, gonna go do that. Should take me roughly no more than 30 minutes. Like, to warm up, to do it all, and then like a cool down. So, should be back in 30 minutes. We're gonna make some Kodiak cakes. Never been like done on my channel, so we're gonna eat that for last meal and uh, let's see what tomorrow brings us. See you guys in a bit. Ah, Messed up. I don't know, days are like the day just ended. It's crazy how fast today went. Like, it's incredible how fast like the time went. Now I just got 25 days. 25 days and I'm gone. What can someone do in 25 days? It's crazy. But personally, I felt like I didn't get enough footage today. So we're going to move this video on to tomorrow. One quick thing before bed, guys. I've got to memorize rank structure. So I have these little flashcards. Memorizing all the way from E1 all the way to E9 of rank structure in the Air Force. So, what better to do? A little study session before bed and get you guys in the morning. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. guys so like I'm gonna run you through like a couple of things that are just on my mind at the moment one it's 1051 I forgot to tell you guys the time 1051 a.m. and um, it's a rest day you know so uh, on my rest days personally I like to sleep in let my body rest from all the whole weeks worth of working out you know your body needs to work out and it needs that time to recover because recovery is key in bodybuilding you know like in order to maximize recovery just take it like take a day off from the gym now nah, personally I really don't take a whole day off sometimes I do don't get me wrong I just don't go to the gym at all but I needed to hit cardio day and I needed to hit an app day so that's why I do it on my rest days but other than that on my rest day I just love to sleep in it really just makes me feel good the following day when I do work out second thing is um, I wonder how I'm gonna look after BMT. Like, we're not gonna be working out weights wise. Well, at least I'm not too certain about that, and I doubt it. We're not gonna be going to the gym to work out. And uh, I'm not complaining, you know, because I gotta do what I gotta do. However, I feel like I'm gonna, like, it's gonna be a lot of cardio high intensity things, like running miles and, and hiking and, and all, all that stuff. I feel like it's gonna be like, a lot, just a bunch of cardio and of course we're gonna do push-ups sit-ups pull-ups and all that stuff but I feel like personally I feel like I'm gonna lose muscle mass there and I guess it's just something I'm gonna have to live with until I get out graduate and stuff but I'm just wondering you know like how would I look if I'm like really like skinny and stuff it's a good question but we'll see when that day comes. I'm gonna put this channel like on a brief hold as well. But that will be on my last video. You guys will be like, I guess, learning like what I'm gonna be doing and stuff. Hopefully you guys can still stick around because I really do love and appreciate all you guys' support that you guys have showed me throughout these months. You know, ever since I started this channel, it's been nothing but fun for me you know just another way to interact one-on-one -on -one with another person on the other side of the screen as long as you can portray a positive message and the other person across this, this screen gets a little advice or does some little change in their life that's all I care about really because even the most little things can impact the person's life in a positive way 
So that's all I really love my channel for, you know? Just spread positivity, motivate, and just give knowledge that I have to others. And just another way to interact, like I just said. Alright guys, so I went to the gym, gym today and uh, I hit some core and I did some cardio. But while I was hitting core, I guess the fire just wasn't lit inside of me like it usually is. I usually have that fire going, ready to kill my workout. But it just wasn't that day. It wasn't my day. I guess because I knew it was a rest day. I knew I was going to relax. I was going to have a refeed day. And it was just, it, the gym wasn't my priority that day. But I, I was just really glad I actually went to the gym and actually got the workout in instead of just staying at home and doing nothing. Just got done with the workout, guys. Um, it was all right. You know, I wasn't really kind of feeling it, to be 100% honest. But it's what, like, it's coming in that matters, you know? As long as you put in an effort to come in and you actually come in and do some form of exercise instead of staying home and not doing anything is what actually counts, you know? So, even though you don't have those, you have those days where you're like, ah, oh, man, I really do not feel like going to the gym, like, at all. Make, at least make an effort to come because when you do come, it could possibly turn into one of the best workouts you've ever had just because when you enter the gym zone, like, personally, I just get focused, but today, I was focused, I just wasn't fitting in, so. Uh, this is, but like I said, we're gonna head home. We're gonna be there. We're gonna make some Kodiak cakes, and I absolutely cannot wait, so. I'll see you guys at the house. Totally redeem myself today. Look at that perfect omelet flip right there. Boom. Another pancake on the grill. Or the stovetop, not grill. And then I got a perfect pancake right there. So, you know, better than I was yesterday. All right, guys. Just finished making breakfast. And I'm going to show you what I got. But before that, all I'm going to say is don't be jealous, guys. Don't be jealous. You know? So, don't click that dislike button just because you're jealous of what I'm eating. <laughs> Now I'm messing with you guys, but um, I made an uh, omelet. Let me just show you real quick. Egg beater omelet with some no-fat cheese, spinach, and some vegetables inside. Some oatmeal and um, protein Kodiak cakes. I'm also going to throw some Walden Farms calorie-free pancake syrup on top of there. And some Valentina hot sauce on top of my freaking omelet. So... I'm about to enjoy this, shower up, and then see what the day brings us. So I'll see you guys in the next one. news on that, but that's, I won't be doing sheet metal. Like, I'll literally just be issuing out tools for one year. And All right, guys, chopped up some bell pepper, some green bell pepper, some mushroom, some onion, and some tomato. Then I got some bread, and I chopped them into some small pieces. And I'm also going to get some egg beaters, throw one serving in there, and then I'm going to throw in nine ounces of this lean ground beef i'm gonna be making some meatloaf so all right i added 10 ounces decided to go with 10 ounces of the ground beef then i added half a serving of egg beaters the oven is already preset preheated to 350 and uh, i'm just gonna add some of this fajita seasoning because seasoning is key guys to make your food taste good Alright guys, so um, I just finished like prepping all the meal, the meats and I put them into a cupcake sheet, check it out. One of these cupcake sheets. And uh, it's basically just for like convenient purposes because the meat will cook faster itself because it's separately into like little separate sections. And also they're easier to take out compared to like one big solid chunk of meat. So I'm gonna toss these in the oven for like 15 minutes. Uh, throw some ketchup on there, reduce sugar ketchup, like one carb or so. Maybe even less than a carb in all the like, as much as you want basically. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we're gonna throw these in the oven real quick. All right guys, so my food just came out. I decided to go with the side of beans, pinto beans that my mom made. And uh, here's how it's looking. And I'm also gonna have a uh, Diet Mountain Dew.
Angel, what team are you? Seahawks. All right, guys. Seahawks versus Cowboys. I'm the Cowboys, and we're about to show my little brother. All right, guys. Just finished up, and um, I beat my brother 28 to three. No, I think it was 35 three. And uh, I know you guys are like, dude, you're beating a little kid, but he's pretty freaking good. Honestly, he beats my other brother, my sec, my second oldest. And um, you're gonna protein shake. Just made it. Um, Banana flavored whey protein, threw some peanut butter in there because I was low on fats. Now I'm gonna play the crew just for a little while while I'm waiting for Ray and my friend David. They're at the gym and uh, we're gonna go to David's house and just kick back for a bit. So I'll be sure to bring you guys along. Alright, guys, so um, it's currently like 10, I think, like 10 p.m. Uh, I'm gonna go to my friend David's house, my friend Ray's there. We're just gonna hang out and uh, watch the end of the 49ers game. Uh, that's pretty much it. So that's going to conclude this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next one.